Fjorda launch details. Birthday event is on. And a possible leak on the animated TV series. You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So yes, the community crunch dropped last night, revealing all of the Fjorda launch details. That's right, we now know exactly when this is going to drop, and that is on June the 12th, of course, the date as we know it, at 10 a.m. PDT, which isn't a bad time for most regions. That's 6 p.m. over in the British summertime, aka UK. 3 a.m. over in Eastern Australia, which isn't too hot, too great for you guys, I'm afraid, over there. But it does coincide with something else, and that is, of course, the Xbox Games Showcase. Fiorda is releasing at exactly the same time as the Xbox Game Showcase is being dropped meaning that we are going to definitely see something arc related at this there's no way the times given for both the fjorda launch and the xbox showcase can be a coincidence there is something definitely going down there we know this for fact it can't be any more certain the problem is of course which one do you do tune into this or start downloading for order because you've got some gigabytes to download you've got a bit of 20 gig for pc or epic 40 gig for xbox and playstation is yet to be announced but at least it's great to see a rough idea of the size 40 gig isn't too bad i was expecting around that to be honest and it's good to see at least it's going to be under 50 gig character upload and download is enabled on official servers with of course uploading from enabled but you can't download anything onto the official servers if you want to play for your order which is obviously giving you a fresh experience right from the off on those official servers but you know on unofficial you can do as you please Speaking of other things to do, it is advised to make sure to uninstall the Fjorda mod map if you have that installed prior to downloading this patch. So yeah, the night before, the day before, make sure you've removed any version of your mod. And you'll need to do that by, of course, making sure you're not subscribed to it anymore in the Steam Workshop and making sure to delete the mod from your shooter game content mod folder list with the number that coincides with the mod ID right here. The crunch goes on to detail once again the three brand new creatures that we're getting with the map as well as the Fenrir, which I feel like we've covered to death by now. Of course, with everything confirmed so far and what these abilities might be looking like, but until we get an eyes on, hands on gameplay with these things, we won't know exactly what they're going to look like. Can't wait to see them in action as well, of course, as the Molnir, Thor's mighty hammer. You can now get this skin in the mod map it's going to apparently offer you brand new abilities acting as a functional weapon skin for the tech sword empowering survivors with supernatural might and it does seem it's going to be giving you some shocking attack as it says here devastate your foes with shocking ease as you exercise control over the element of lightning however not every survivor will pass the test and be considered worthy to obtain the mighty molnia Will you be up to the challenge? And I think this coincides with the area on Asgard, one of the three realms you can transport to, where there's a hidden away room where you can get the hammer skin as it stands right now. But perhaps there's going to be an element of you actually being able to go into that to obtain that. So yeah, it's all going off at 10 a.m. PDT next Sunday on June the 12th. I am going to be covering as much of this as I possibly possibly can as well of course as probably covering the xbox showcase at the same time so this is going to be a very interesting busy moment in the world of arc news a lot of things to be covered and i can't wait to put them out to you a couple of small caveats you may have noticed it does say there 8 p.m utc which is over here in the uk which doesn't add up to 10 a.m. PDT. I don't understand why that's there. I'm hoping it's a mistake. Or is the rest of the world getting arc later? No way on earth they would ever do that. It has to be a mistake. I'm going to settle with the 10 a.m. PDT as the specific time to us. 
And you may have read and noticed that the Fjorda map has undergone significant changes that will impact the world. There are a lot of changes to this. I did a video two days ago going through the trailer and breaking it down and comparing it against the mod map to see exactly what was different. So go check that out if you haven't already. Wildcard also put together some artwork celebrating Pride Month with some great support links if you do want to help support the LGBTQ community. And yes, it's Ark's birthday. June the 2nd is the 7th anniversary of Ark being around. That's a long, long time. And with that, we've got a new event. Not a lot. I don't think the devs were originally going to do anything. I think they kind of just decided last minute to drop this on us. And yeah, we've got some great creature colors from dark magenta, lavender, cyan, mint, deep pink, actual black, white, glacial, dark lavender and light yellow giving you all of the colors of the rainbow as well as a bit of xp on top a bit of two times for official 4.5 for small tribe five for arc puck and six for classic until of course monday june the 6th so shout out to Riker Place, who I think originally sourced and covered this. And then Art 2 News came in and found even more animation regarding Ark, the animated TV series, with images revealing much more about the characters that we're going to see. And yet the resolution isn't that great at all, but it's great to see the characters in some depiction form. Now, obviously, Santiago, Vin Diesel there, rocking the tech with his pulp duck in hand, May Yim played by Michelle Yeoh, Helena Walker, but we've of course seen that image from the first one. Henry Townsend, played by Jeffrey Rice, wonderful actor. Lacey, played by Devery Jacobs. Cor, the prophet, played by Russell Crowe. And Gaseous Nerva, played by Gerard Butler. What? And of course, Sir Edmund Rockwell, played by David Tennant once again. John Natayu, played by Zahn McLaren and the Gladiatrix played by Sissy Jones. And then furthermore with this image, Victoria Walker played by Elliot Page, The Bob played by Carl Urban, Deborah Walker played by Deborah Mailman, Senator Villaris played by Malcolm McDowell, an iconic actor, Cassia Virilia played by Monica Bellucci, which is great to see as I don't recall her being in the cast list when we covered this last year. We got Queen Sigrid played by Raga Ragnars, the captain played by Alan Tuduk, who of course played a captain himself in Dodgeball. We've got Han Lin played by Ron Wan, Shava played by Juliet Mills, and Scary Dodo Monkey played by D. Bradley Baker. Okay, interesting. Great to see something and if this is even real at all, we don't know. It's seeming to be very accurate to the animation style we've seen from the trailer but we don't know where these have come from if these are real or not but we're going to take a stab that they possibly are which means we are going to see something very very soon i think in the future if leaks are starting to be dropped that means that something is on the cards for us to see we just don't know what platform this is going to be on we know it is going to be a full tv long episodic format hopefully for a streaming platform that we can all access and the star studded lineup for this alone speaks volumes the team behind the scenes animating this are wonderfully talented we are going to be in for an absolute treat whether we're an arc fan or not when this finally drops to whatever platform it's going to be on hopefully hopefully this year it was dated for this year still and we are hoping it is going to still be this year maybe later on we'll have to wait and see and there we go i hope you enjoyed this apologies for not being on cam you can probably tell i am not feeling very well today thus my voice is a bit croaky but there's only one more week to go i can't wait fjorda is coming to official it's going off my name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, uh, peace out. Uh.